Right, Scary, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick little demonstration of uh, how rotary encoders work or how quadrature encoders work. So, um, here on the breadboard, I've got my rotary encoder, of course, um, and that that's got the the two outputs are connected to these LEDs here and this encoder also happens to have a switch a push switch which I've uh, connected to that and the switch has an independent circuit I believe to uh, the quadrature output so that's my switch so I just want to quickly demonstrate if I rotate slowly left one goes on right one then it's just the right one that's lit and they both go out that's rotating clockwise and if I rotate anti-clockwise the reverse happens it starts off they're both out right one goes on left one goes on just the left LED both out uh, obviously if I rotate really fast they just flicker a bit you can't see it but it's pretty clear even if I weren't to show you that I think you can get have I blown another LED should have some resistors in there. Put that one in there. All right, that'll do. Get some message across, hopefully. Yeah, see. Right, left. Yeah. You can see the direction of rotation quite easily, even if you didn't have any knowledge of any kind of electronics or binary numbers or anything. So. Here's a little bit of mathematics. That's where the you got the these represent the these two uh, square waves represent the outputs of the encoder, and you've got that's the most significant binary bit. But on the breadboard, that's actually the right LED, and on the the least significant bit on the breadboard was uh, operating the uh, left LED so um, and that output is described as uh, grey code you, know what? you can see the same sequence see left light is on here both lights are on then just the right light then they're both out, cycle repeats and you see the sequence here represented in grey code and you can see here I've written the actual binary equivalent now to translate a grey code a 2 bit grey code to um, binary all you need to do is like say you got the say the grey grey output is 1-1 one, one. all you need to do is you write down the first you write down the most significant bit and then you zor that one with that one so one exclusive or one exclusive or one is zero so exclusive or obviously you've got it it means exclusive or means one it means just one it's the truth table that yeah it is true if only one input is one see that that zor that uh, forget that 
so that's how you get it so that's the binary for two so if we take another gray code number suppose you want um, yeah suppose you want 01 gray code so we write the number here 01 and so we write down that one most significant bit obviously is remaining zero and one zor zero is one so it stays the same so that's really easy um, hopefully if you've watched this video this far hopefully I've saved you a whole lot of confusion if you already know a little bit about binary numbers and you're into um, playing around with microcontrollers or some other form of digital electronics and you want to start using router encoders I hope to have saved you some time and mental effort okay that's all for now